Hello everyone. My name is Moose Henderson. I'm a wildlife photographer. This is a continuation of our series on the traveling trailer or what some people may call a bardo trailer or a gypsy wagon. This is part five of the series and today we're going to go on a tour and look at some of the items that we've completed during the last week since we have issued the fourth video in the series. So let's take a tour and see what has been completed and why we have done some of the changes that I have done. This is the back side of the trailer and you can see we have the license plate installed and most of the trim is done and if you look very carefully you can see that there is a metal roof up on top in addition to the ice and water shield and the multiple layers of plywood. Let's continue around the passenger side to the front of the trailer. On the passenger side you can see this electrical pass-through with a couple of wires. This is the pass-through for the solar panel that is right up on top of the roof. You can just see the solar panel up on the roof, the edge of it. I have a 100 watt solar panel that helps to charge my battery and this will give me some power that I need while I am out on the road. Okay, this is the front of the trailer and we have some more of the trim done and you can also see that we've installed a tongue jack on the front of the trailer in order to help us when we're loading and unloading the trailer from my truck. Let's continue on around the driver's side and you can see there's two windows. We've talked about these in the past. These are the two windows. One is near my bed and the other one is near the kitchen. This is the rear of the trailer and you can see the door is offset and as I stated in the past that's because I have a, sh a shower that's directly in and on the passenger side next to the door. Below you can see a couple of stabilizer jacks that I have installed and these help to keep the trailer stable when it's parked because otherwise uh, it rocks and rolls pretty much and also if you step on the rear when it's not attached to the truck you run the risk of the entire trailer tipping back. I did get the trailer weighed at cat scales and I found out that the dry weight of the trailer is 1700 pounds and I took the trailer by and had the bearings repacked and while I did that the gentleman who repacked the bearings advised me that I really should upgrade the axle from a 2,000 pound axle up to a 3,500. So I've got an axle on order and that will be coming in and that will give me the ability to put a few supplies on the inside of the trailer and not max out on the weight. Okay, this is a view from the front door and you can see that my bed is along the front wall of the trailer and I have two windows directly adjacent to my bed and also two lights. I plan to replace these lights eventually with better quality lights, but I just needed something to tide me over until I could find some good lights. Up in the top corner on the passenger side, this is the solar controller that helps to control the solar panel. The solar panel plugs directly into this controller and then the controller goes directly to the battery. The purpose of the solar controller is to prevent the battery from getting overcharged. It monitors the voltage of the battery and thereby feeds in energy as the battery can take it 
or bleeds it off when the battery is completely full. If we continue around on the passenger side, this is my desk. And this will give me a nice area to be able to edit my photographs. And again, we have one of these lights that I will eventually replace. And I will eventually be installing my 27 inch monitor that will fill up this back wall back here. And it will be mounted on an arm that will allow me to move the monitor as needed. And that way I'll be able to edit my photos as I wish. Over along the corner wall is a couple of USB outlets and also a voltage meter. And there is also a plug for a standard 12 volt type adapter and an on off switch. This wall that this goes into is the shower wall that separates the shower area from the front desk area. And let's go into the shower. So we have a shower pan down on the floor and I'm in the process of still installing this. There's a drain and then I have a shelf and a back wall where the drill is is where I will put my garden sprayer and that's what I use as a shower. I will also build a shelf into this back area and I will put waterproofing material all along the walls of the shower. So at the current time the shower is incomplete but at least this gives you an idea of where the shower is and what it's going to look like. There are some exposed wires back here that go to those USB outlets I just showed you. That's going to have a protective cover over it so that there's no problem with the electrical. The reason the walls are not polyurethane is this is all going to be covered by waterproofing material. Now let's rotate on around into the kitchen area. Okay, so this is the kitchen counter. And you can see it goes from my bed back to the front door. I have a little butane stove that is combination butane and propane. And I prefer to use propane because I tend to operate in a lot of areas that are very cold and butane does not work very well when you got down below freezing. So that's my little butane stove and you can see the propane bottle attached to it back in the back. There's more lights on the wall that I plan to change at some point. When you look up to the ceiling, you can see that I've put a tongue and groove paneling all across the ceiling to kind of finish it off. And I think that makes it look very nice. And you can also see that I have installed trim around the inside of the windows to kind of finish everything off. This shelf that is below the kitchen counter is where I will store my food and food supplies. And you can see the shelf goes all the way up towards the front of the trailer where I have my 12 volt battery, a seven gallon water jug, space for another seven gallon water jug. And then this area underneath the bed and underneath the desk will be a storage area for clothes and various other items. So the major jobs remaining to be done is to change out the axle from a 2,000 pound axle to a 3,500 pound axle. And I expect the axle will come in in the next week or so. It has currently been ordered and I have received a notice 
that it has shipped, so I'm expecting it here in a week or so. Another item that I still need to install is my backup camera. I ordered a backup camera to go on to the back of the trailer because it's impossible to see behind the trailer when you're backing up and I want to make sure that I can see what is behind the trailer in case there's an obstacle or a child runs behind there or something like that. I want to make sure that I'm safe while I'm on the road. So that gives you a rough rundown and overview of the trailer. I will do one more video about this trailer and that will be the overall cost to build the trailer. I have saved all of the receipts and I'm going to go through and do a detailed accounting on what I spent and all of the items that I had to purchase in order to build this little trailer. Uh, I expect to be hitting the road in the next week or so, and I'll be going directly to Florida to start writing my book, The 50 Wildlife Hotspots of Florida. I thank you so much for joining me today, and I hope you have enjoyed this tour of my traveling trailer. If you have, please hit the like icon and please consider subscribing to our channel. We upload content at least once a week, sometimes multiple times a week. And it's been a lot of fun building this trailer. It's been a lot of work and I really thank my friend Gary who has helped me all along the way. So until I come back with uh, part six, of this video series. I will see you guys soon.